Hi, this is Angie Bunny. Welcome to segment 14 of Book Yourself Solid, the fastest, the easiest, and the most reliable system for getting more clients than you can handle, even if you hate marketing and selling like I once did. Today we're going to discuss the third building block of Module 4, the referral strategy. Now imagine enjoying deeper, more meaningful relationships with every client you work with and, at the same time, attracting three or four times as many wonderful new clients as you have right now. I bet you're listening. By starting an organized referral program, you'll be able to connect with a far greater number of potential new clients. The Book Yourself Solid referral strategy teaches you how to create this snowball effect. In order to implement this strategy, you'll need to employ a few things. A pre-referral work, seize the day referral work, post referral work. Don't worry, I'm going to describe each phase in more detail. First, the pre-referral work. The pre-referral work phase includes look back, past referral analysis, look ahead, the referral opportunities tracking log, look inside, see it from your refer refer's point of view. Again, let me flush out these components. For the look back, past referral analysis, Start by remembering the last time a quality referral came to you. From whom did the referral come? What was the referral for, specifically? Did the referral need your services immediately? How were you contacted by the person making the referral or the potential client? Had you educated the referrer about your services before he made the referral? How did you accept the referral and follow up? Is that new referral a continuing client today? By answering these seven questions, you'll gather important information about your strengths in generating referrals, as well as the areas that are ripe for improvement. For the look ahead phase, we're going to utilize a referral opportunities tracking log. Create a referral tracking log based on the seven questions I just listed, and begin to track daily referral opportunities. Over time, take note of what works and what doesn't. Study the interactions and learn from them. Then adjust what you do and say to increase your referrals. It's actually time to start paying attention. For the look inside phase, we want to see it from your referrer's point of view. Look inside from the perspective of your referrers to identify why, who, where, and how they may refer ideal clients to you. I mean, why would your referrers give you a referral? Illuminate the benefits of your best work and also the emotional, social, and professional benefits that go along with being someone who refers people in need to those who can help. Who would make an ideal referral? Do your referrals know who your ideal clients are? Where would your referrers meet ideal referrers? In the grocery store, at a business meeting, at a networking event? Help your referrers understand who in their lives will benefit most from your services and products and where they might cross paths with those people. How should your referrers make the referral? Help empower your referrers to have simple conversations with potential referrals and clarify how to effectively connect the referrals to you and your offerings. So let's move on to seize the day referral. There's no time like the present. Go for it. Ask for referrals. Facilitate the referral connection. So how do you ask for referrals, especially if you're one of those shy, self-effacing types? If you want to increase your referral quotient by 50%, the best strategy is to ask for referrals. Take notice of situations that seem natural to ask for referrals, namely when your ideal client thanks you for a great session, asks you for more services, describes a past problem that you help fix or a goal you helped her achieve, mentions a friend or business associate who's been facing very similar challenges, mentions she's going to an industry conference for a few days, and by the way, you serve businesses or individuals within that industry. You can also create the opportunity for a referral conversation by thanking clients for their energy and enthusiasm during your session or project, asking clients how they're feeling about the work you're doing together, or about past challenges, complimenting clients on their progress, and asking them about the value they get from your sessions. 
use this as an open door to have them talk about how your services could benefit other people or organizations they have relationships with. Next, facilitate the referral connection. Offer to meet, consult with, or advise anyone who's important to your clients. Let them know that you want to help educate their friends about the benefits of your services. Hand out a card or send an email that clients can pass on to friends and family. Or better yet, ask them to make the introduction and then you follow up. After all, even if they have the best of intentions, life can often get in the way. So make the process as easy as possible for them. Then there's the post-referral work phase. Effective post-referral work requires you to do three things. Follow up re referrals, show and share your referral presentation, and circle back with the referral. Let's talk about the first part of that equation. Follow up with referrals. After the introduction has been made, don't wait for the referral to make the next move. Contact new referrals and introduce them to what you have to offer in a meaningful, connected, and helpful way. This is where you always have something to invite people to offer comes into play. It gives you a really easy way to start a conversation with a potential client and extend a no-risk, no-barrier invitation that's compelling and attractive. All you have to do is make a generous invitation and you've started the Book Yourself Solid sales cycle. Don't forget, people love free information and events. Then we move to the show and share your referral presentation. Speak with lots of expression, get excited and show the passion you have for the benefits your services can offer. Smile, make eye contact, be confident and open your heart. When your potential client starts speaking, zip it and listen up. Don't forget to circle back with the refer. Nurture those relationships you develop with those who refer others to you. Would you like some more referral ideas? Well, let's start with the other professionals, the other source of referrals. Other professionals who offer services and products that are complementary to your own, who also work with your target market. These are ideal sources of referrals. When you operate from a perspective of abundance and cooperation rather than from scarcity and competition, it becomes easy to reach out to others to develop relationships that can be mutually beneficial. The more you refer to others, the more they'll be inspired to refer to you. Many service professionals have a formal referral group with five or six or more professionals who serve the same target market, but offer complementary services and products. Each member of the group works to send referrals to the other members of the group. If you join a high integrity referral group, you'll really extend your referral reach. You'll also build your reputation by having others talk about you and your services. And don't forget, strike while the iron is hot. Nurture the relationships you develop with those who refer others to you and always follow up right away on any referrals you get. You'll then create not merely satisfied clients, but raving fans by delivering your best work. Before you know it, you'll be book solid, which if you remember, is sort of the goal. Well, that's all for today. I'm Ann Shibani. Join me for our next segment, The Speaking Strategy. We'll see you then.